Good morning, how are you? Okay folks, yeah, it's going to be a quick update today. Again, sorry, I didn't go on yesterday. I think doing it every day is, yeah, a little bit too hard, but I'll try and do it every other day for sure, because then I'll have more info to give you. Okay, the situation is, um, you know the test we done, I was doing, me and the GP decided let's try this on the other. So, yeah, came has got ill again, started again. Um, he had a really good three days. Um, so if I go back to uh, what happened over the six day testing we done, one week testing. Um, so the Friday night when he was in hospital, he had the laxatives, all that kind of stuff. So me and the GP said, right, let's, let's see what happens. With so, and he did, he, for three days, three days later, for three days, the first day he was, which was four days ago, first day was a, it was a runny poo, then second day he had one poo, which was a medium, and then the third day was really hard, and then uh, fourth day, which would have been yesterday, nothing, um, and yesterday he woke up um, vomiting again. Yeah. I started, I could just see it, he's weak. It's all, it's all starting again. And the crazy thing is this, is the vomit. Um, even though I know that food is in them, the food isn't coming back up in the vomit, it's still bile. So to me, based on what I've been looking at, watching, you know, recording, documenting, there is something in gastro, for sure, because he's not digesting his food not even to be able to vomit it back up. It's bile straight away. So there's a block and then you can see the pain is starting again. Um, he's weak again. I was managed to get him up yesterday. We got a little walk down by the ponds. Um, he's still, you know, today we're gonna go up to uh, Brecon, Brecon Beacons, uh, something like that. Uh, up to, well, Sandy Bridge actually, it's Sandy Bridge. We're going up to the big antique uh, building. Beautiful up there. So I'll try and get some photos and stuff for you. Get Kay to have a little chat. Um, but really, it's all I can give you that for now. It's Sunday. Uh, tomorrow we can go to the GP. Oh, fuck, no, we can't. No, 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 we can't go to the GP tomorrow. She's off tomorrow. It's her day off. So it's Tuesday. Uh, so I'll just keep monitoring it until Tuesday. I got a feeling day by day now he's going to get worse because he's not going to be able to digest. Or I, I, I think that's what it's seems to me now we'll start seeing all the other little side things that was happening all along the vomiting the pain in the stomach weak sleeping all the time uh that'll probably that's starting again now so i think now this week probably has been a good week waiting for this mri wednesday to study between me and the gp because you know we both agreed let's do this let's do, and not give him laxatives this week and I haven't given him an laxative yet because I know how, and he agrees, he's going to have to suffer today just for us to work it out. I, mean, I know some people say just give him the laxative, but if there's a, I don't think it's just constipation. I think there is a bowel issue or some kind. So there's an issue there, and it's not going to be rectified as a long term with um, with just a simple laxative. I don't believe that's going to be the case, and I don't want to be just having him living on laxatives when there could be something developing and we're not going to get on it sooner rather than later so as far as I'm concerned I'm going to go forward with still all the testing 100% I want every single test done until they fully clear him I'm not giving up like so that's the update um I started um making my vlog the personal story vlog I've had a chat with Kay Kay's willing to do some talking as well. He doesn't want to go on camera, as you know, which is understandable, but he does want to advocate this and he does want, to, he wants to be honest and true out there. So, um, and he also wants to, uh, you know, shout about what's happening to the NHS kind of thing. He feels very strongly with me on that. You know, he's got a lot of people in pain there as well. He's quite an empathetic young man. He's so gentle, um, yeah. Yeah, so um, so really that's it for today, guys. I'm gonna have a day out with Cayman and go for a nice long, long drive in the mountains. Uh, might absolutely do some footage later on of our day. If 
you want to do that. It's, I don't know. <laughs> Probably sick of fucking seeing me now anyway. All right, and guys. Thank you very much for watching. And, um, yeah. I'll update you when I think there's a relevant amount of news or updates, really. So that's all in regard to Cayman, in regard to NHS. Um, that's a process. I can't up update you daily on that because, as you know, it's a long process. It's going to be a long process. And I don't want to give too much of my hand away, let's say. Isn't it? So, um, all right, and guys, chill out today and have a good one. All right.